sections on 7.2 matrix algebra. So this is something new. What we have is this thing called matrix, and it's a, in the format of a bracket right there. And in the brackets, we have different cells or elements that we have right there. And when we read this, we always read it by row, by column first. So the row is going to be going this direction. You've got a row horizontally, and then the column is going up and down vertically right there. Okay, so on this first spot right there, that's going to be the one one represents then the first row, first column spot right there. So then if you notice the next number, it's then first row, second column. So that's why there's a two right there. Okay, then we go to the next row, right? We go to the second row. So that's why there's two, but it's in the first column. So that's why there's a two and a one right there. Then we go to the next number right here, which then says that it's a second row, second column, so that's why there's a 2, 2 right there, okay? So we'll use some of this notation right there if they ask us to um, do some kind of operations, and so that's why I want to introduce that part. Now, with the matrix, when you have one of these things, they're called matrix, and if you start to have two of these, these are called matrices, okay? So when we have matrices like this, we're going to go ahead and do operations. Now, the first part is something like this, where we're going to add the two matrix, matrices together, and then that's going to form our final answer. Now, when you take the A, that means we're taking this matrix A right here, and we're going to add that to matrix B right there. Okay, now if you add the two matrix together, the important part is what we mentioned about here, the places right there, the cells and everything. So all of the first row, first column numbers have to be combined together. So you're combining like terms kind of idea, but it has to be in the same spot. So let me go ahead and set this up right there for us. So we have then is, and we'll put equals, and we're going to put a matrix together right there. And I'm going to do, so the first part right here, the two right there, it's the first row, first column. So when I get my first row, first column right there, I have to match it up with the first row, first column number on this matrix right there because it's A plus B. So 2 plus 2 gives us 4. So the first row, first column right here, the number is 4. Okay? Then we go to the next part. So this is first row, second column. So now we're going first row, second column right there. We're going to add the 0 plus the 2. So 0 plus 2 gives us 2 right there. Next is first row, third column. So we have to do the same thing. So now first row, third column is negative 3. We're going to add it to negative 3 for first row, second, uh, third column. So negative 3 plus negative 3 is negative 6. So that first row third column number is negative six. Okay, now let's go to the second row. So now we're on second row right here because we're now adding up all the second rows together. So doing the same thing, we're going to take the second row, first column, second row, first column numbers together. So one plus the zero gives us one. So the next one right here, second row, first column is one. Then we want to find out second row, second column. So second row, second column is this number right here, plus the second row, second column on the other matrix B. That gives us 2. So this gives us 2. Then we go into second row, third column, plus second row, third column. So that gives us 3 right there. Okay? And that's your final answer right there for the first example. Now I'm emphasizing what position it is. Because when we get to the next part, which is then like the product rule, it's going to get a little confusing of which, uh, where you are, and sometimes you get lost. So that's why I'm emphasizing each of these positions so when we get to that video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. All right, now let's try example two. Now example two says take the matrix B and subtract it from matrix A. So we're taking this right here, and we're going to subtract it that way. Now be very careful because a minus B is not the same answer as B minus A, okay? So let's go ahead and set that up right there. So I know then from the previous experience, we're going to have two rows and three columns. So I'm just going to set that up. So in my first row, first column number, 
of b right there, that's 2, minus 2 right there, right, is 0. So the first number is 0 right there. Then the b for the second, uh, first row, second column, so that's going to be this one right here, 2 minus 0 is 2. Okay, first row, third column is going to give us negative 3 minus a negative 3, so that's going to turn into a positive, right? So then the 3's will cancel each other out, and you're going to get 0 for this part right there. Okay, next one, second row, first column. So second row, first column is 0, minus 1 gives us negative 1, so the next number right there is negative 1. Now second row, second column. So second row, second column is 1 minus 1, that gives us 0 right there. Okay, second row, third column. Second row, third column is 1 minus 2 right there. So 1 minus 2 gives us negative 1. So the final answer is negative 1 right there. Okay, and that's it. That's your final answer right there. All right, let's try example 3. So example 3 says I have negative 2 times B. So what do you think we're going to do? Right, we're going to multiply the matrix B, and we're just going to double every single one of those. So I'm just going to go equals, and then I just have basically three spots, right? Three columns right there, three columns right there. So now we just take each of these values right there, and we're just going to double it. So it's 2 times, I'm sorry, negative 2, right? So 2 times negative 2 gives us negative 4, so that's the first one right there. Then we have 2 times negative 2 again gives us negative 4. Negative 3 times negative 2 gives us positive 6. 0 times anything, right, gives us 0. And then 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And same thing with this one, 1 times negative 2 gives us negative 2. And that's it. We just doubled, neg actually we negative doubled our matrix B right there. Okay? Now, this is going to be probably the most challenging that we'll have for this part right here. It's, you're going to do 2A minus B. So as it says, like the previous example that we had done in example 3, we're going to double the A matrix then the product of that, we're going to subtract it from the B matrix, okay? Now, if you're new at this, I would suggest making the new matrix, the 2A matrix is what we call it. So we're going to rewrite it, and then we're going to subtract it to the B matrix. So I'm going to set this up as my B matrix, and then we'll have a final answer matrix part as well. Okay, so I'm going to set this up. Two rows, three columns, two rows, three columns, two rows, three columns. Okay, and then this is two rows, three columns. Okay, so let's go ahead and double our A first. So going back to A right there, right? So we're going to double that. So it's two times two is four. So that's our first spot right there, four. Zero times two is zero. So zero right there. Negative three times two is negative six. So we have this negative six right there. Then we have is 1 times 2, same thing with that one right there. It's going to give us 2, so both of these are 2 right there. And then the last one is 2 times 2, gives us 4. So I just completed now is the 2A matrix right there. Okay? Now it's minus the B matrix, so the B matrix, I didn't do anything with it. So I'm going to just go, to ha go ahead and copy my B matrix right there. So it's 2, 2, negative 3. So let's go here from 2, 2, negative 3. And let's see, 0, 1, 1. So 0, 1, 1. Okay, now I'm ready to do the operation. So the operation says, again, we're subtracting this matrix from the B matrix. So do 4 minus 2 gives us 2 right there. So that's a new spot right there. Then we have is 0 minus 2 gives us negative 2, right? Because it's 0 minus 2 negative 6 minus negative 3, so negative and negative is positive, so technically this is plus 3, so negative 6 plus 3 gives us negative 3. Then we do 2 minus 0 is 2, and then 2 minus the 1 gives us 1, and 4 minus 1 gives us 3. Okay, that's it. That's our final product for the 2A 
minus b. So that's what we're going to do for the classwork now.